Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Mendoza Gaming and welcome to H1Z1 once again. And uh, hey, look at that. We got a vehicle for the first time in forever in this little uh, section here. But uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That was awesome. Anyways, uh, so I'm using an external monitor now. So I should get better frame rates all around regardless of who, what, when, where is going on. Right now I'm getting a, just about 100 frames per second which is awesome because I as you can see am at this crazy render distance 1500 we'll see if that stays strong once we get in game um, but yeah everything looks like it's going pretty well and I'm really glad about that because this will be the first time in forever that it has been going this well and we flipped the vehicle so let's get out let's flip this again and then get back in we only have 60 or less than 60 seconds right now before the match starts which is going to be awesome because this is the first time that i've been using this monitor for h1z1 and we'll see just how fast it is uh it does have a 75 hertz refresh rate which is kind of sick if you ask me i flipped it again oh no oh no this thank you for tilting me back around <laughs> 30 seconds awesome so i will see you guys once we get in game Hopefully this is all good and well. Um, hey, what the hell? Hey! Put me back in the car! What the hell? Oh. Okay. I'll see you guys in 10 seconds. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we're just gonna dive straight down. Hopefully, get this all good. We are still getting upwards of 100 frames per second. This external monitor was the best thing ever with this game. Jeez, I had a little bit of a burp there. Alright, let's get in here quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's try to get this guy. Oh, damn it! <laughs> uh... Well, I guess we're gonna do this again. I was hoping to get in there a little bit quicker to get him, but that did not turn out so well. Oh, dang it. Okay. One more time, here we go. Except, let's jump into this again. Hopefully this time do, whoop, I hit the microphone again. Hopefully this time do a little bit better. So here's a question for any of you who play H1Z1, right? So I have a minute to talk about this. That is perfectly fine. Let me pop up that microphone just a tiny bit. But, um, so when you guys launch H1Z1 King of the Kill, right? And you go into, you, you go into get into the game. Does it automatically default you to a different region in which you're not in? And then give you the notification like, hey, you should probably change your region to get better performance. Because I get that all the time. Every time I log in, uh, it is always in a different region. And not even in the same one that I'm in. Like, it'll be, like, Asia or something like that. I'm on the West Coast in the U.S. So, why on Earth would it always default me to a country that isn't even here or on the other side of the country? It can, you know, they can obviously tell where you're playing from. Otherwise, you know. All of that stuff. Yeah, it is, I don't understand. Does everyone, does that happen to everyone or is it just me? I would like to know that. I don't know, but I would like to know. Uh, this isn't really a place that I want to be spawning in, but I will go down here anyways. Uh, I guess I'll go over into these buildings over here because I'm going to get closest to them anyways. And then let's just hope and pray that no one else follows me here. That would be awesome. And then hope and pray that I can actually kill someone. And someone followed me here, didn't they? Yes, they did. Okay, so let's quickly jump in here and try to find the best weapon that we can, like that AR-15. That is awesome. Let's reload it quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Take this AR ammo and hopefully try to find a backpack of some form. That would be awesome. I am going to be a little bit quiet sometimes so I can listen for footsteps. All right, let's go try to find someone right now. Nice, okay. That was good. 
I probably shouldn't field bandage right here. That's probably not the greatest idea. Let's do one more. Hopefully stop the bleeding. So I can hear someone outside. That's obvious. Take the AR ammo. Oh god, that was scary. Let me just do a quick field bandage. I knew I could hear someone. It was obvious that I could hear someone. AR-15 ammo. Okay, so... This is a lot of fun. There we go, there's the military backpack. So let's shred this backpack. And we now have... Almost everything that we need, uh, we would like to be able to find... Is that duct tape? That's duct... No, it's not duct tape. I also don't know how to get out of here very well. So that could be a problem. Not a big problem, but a small problem. AR ammo, may as well take that. What's my weight at? Pretty heavy. I am carrying quite a lot of stuff here. Okay, I think this is the stairs, this block here. Oh, I knew- I was like trying to find the stairs and I'm staring right at them. Oh my gosh, that was awful. Yeah, this is a lot more fun when you can actually have, you know, decent frame rates. So you can actually see what's going on and it's not dipping every five seconds. That is the biggest pet peeve of mine. And I know that technically represents something that is uh, CPU limited, but it's not the CPU. It's actually the, the bandwidth in which I actually have from... Because before I was playing with an internal monitor, I was using an external graphics card to accelerate the internal display. And that just doesn't work. It really doesn't. Because you end up uh, doing things that you don't want. In other words, I run over a Thunderbolt 2. So what that means, for if you are interested, I'm going to talk about this. So if you're uninterested in this, I apologize. But modern day, and by modern day, I mean the new external graphics cards adapters. What they do is they take Thunderbolt 3, which is a 40 gigabit per second throughput, right? That's really fast. However, if you use the internal display, that speed is cut in half. So now you have 20 gigabit per second send and 20 gigabit per second receive, which is still pretty fast. Don't get me wrong. But... What happens is your performance is cut by anywhere from 10 to 30%, depending on the card that you use. And that's that's a bad thing. But with that said, um, nice, I just did a flip, do a barrel roll. Oh no, that was a front flip. But um, with that said, I don't use Thunderbolt 3. I game on a MacBook Pro, a 2015 MacBook Pro, running Windows 10 on an external SSD, right? Which works fine it works great but when you use the internal display you get 10 gigabit throughput because macbook pros only have um thunderbolt 2 they don't have the thunderbolt 3. so what that means is instead of having 20 gigabit per second thunderbolt speeds thunderbolt 2 speeds i have essentially 10 which is thunderbolt 1 which really really bottlenecks the system except when you use an external display because then you're not sending very much signal back and you have essentially 18 to 20 gigabit per second output to a graphics card which then goes to an external monitor and the in and the integrated CPU is left to do its integrated CPU stuff on its monitor. Uh, it is a little bit accelerated, don't get me wrong, but it's a whole lot less taxing on the graphics card when you have uh, an external display, which is why I was trying to get one for the longest time, and now we're all good. But uh, yeah, let's let's jump into this. <clears throat> all right, let's get over to here and get as much 
weaponry as we can. I don't want that. I'm going to be kind of selective from now on about what I'm picking up. All right, I will pick up the shotgun just for having a shotgun. So I'm not finding very much here. At least I got a backpack. Uh, pistol. Pistol. Duct tape. There's some duct tape. That's good. I think that's going to be it for this building, guys. So let's run over to these house areas and hopefully find an AR because that is something that we definitely need along with some helmets. AK, that'll be fine. I'm not too good with the AK. I'm better with the AR because it's a little bit more accurate. But I'm not too bothered about it. I mean, weapon is weapons. My face itches. That's bad. I'll take two more shotgun shells. I don't think I'm going to need much more than that. And then let me reload. Okay. Uh, reload this. There we go. All right. So we are pretty good for... Is that a... Nope. A little tiny bit of time here. I think that's an operating vehicle. No, there's not a vehicle that is any good. Uh, where do I want to go now? That is the question. Grab that just because I missed it. I didn't realize that I missed it until about five seconds ago. I thought I saw someone running up there. So let's pull the AK out because that is going to be my weapon of choice here for this long range stuff. And turn the render distance wherever it looks best at. Okay, I'm going to run back here just really quick and check out the map. <clears throat> okay, I am right in it. So I can take my time looting. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to go try to find this. Shootout that's happening. <clears throat> it doesn't sound very far. Oh, damn it. Dang it. Okay. <sighs> I think I'm going to play one more. Hello. Okay. Why? I was about to start the intro for this. My bad, this is not an intro. I've already been playing for a minute. And by minute, I mean... 26 minutes. I probably could have figured that out faster if I would have... Taken... Whoa, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I pulled my mouse to pull the, uh, the string out of the... It was getting stuck. <laughs> Maybe I should have thought of that. Oh, well. Live and learn. I didn't find anything, not even a pistol. Not even a pistol. Well, this could have gone better. Um, I can go, what is that? North, north what? Whoops. Northwest? Yeah, I'm thinking it's already emptied entirely. Someone already got everything and just Straight up left. 
Unless they left a pistol or something. We just need anything right now. Is that a pistol? No. Man, this is awful. Well, it's something. It's not necessarily what I want. But it is what I have to work with. So, uh, this one does not look like it's going to work out too well, sadly. And there, this is nothing, right? It's a gas grenade, gas smoke bomb. Whatever you want to call it, I guess. That's what I have. I don't have any ammo for this. I have seven shots, which I don't even think is quite enough to kill someone unless you get like a... an, an epic headshot. All right, let me check behind the counter and make sure this is thoroughly checked out everywhere here. A bow would be a bad idea. Um, pretty much everything. I assume there's nothing in there. It's not just survive, so we're not going to have as much stuff here. Ooh, I can't believe they left a helmet. What noob. Dirt. That looks like it is to be everything here. So, what is the next stop? Oh, that's not... Oh, I was going west, not north. So, if I go north from here, I can easily find more stuff. Hopefully. Yeah, because I went too far west. Here, I'm thinking that I'm going the right way. And I went the wrong way the whole time? Oh my gosh, I am freaking ridiculous sometimes. <clears throat> Let's get over here inside of a building as fast as we can. Because that guy definitely saw me. If he didn't, he's freaking ridiculous. That's not directed towards me, so I think I can get inside one of these buildings quickly and hopefully find some type of weapon. Oh my gosh, I have an AK. I'm gonna die immediately, most likely. Okay, I don't hear anyone here. And this place looks to be bone dry looted. Somebody for doesn't understand how to make the stuff. Nice, okay, so now I need duct tape to make makeshift armor, right? Oh, armor scrap too. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna do that yet. Oh my gosh. Is this gonna turn out to be a, a good one? Or is it gonna be an ultimate failure? I'm hoping this is gonna be a pretty good one. Uh, we definitely came back from having nothing at all to Things not really being as bad. Okay, I'm gonna run up into this tree line. I know it's a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And hope for the best. Oh gosh, we are in the middle. I don't wanna be this far into the middle. I'm gonna stick around this tree line for a second. Okay, 15 guys left, ladies and gentlemen. This is a new top 10 record. I hope. I hope I get 8 at least, because my record is 8 or 9. I didn't get very many kills. I only got 1 or 2, but still. Not the point. Definitely not the point. The problem is now we're running into, like, decent players. That's pretty far. But if I can catch one of them off guard. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Did he go down? Oh god, I'm in the middle of this. Okay, this is better here. Can I sneak up on this guy? Dang it. Oh, that was good. Woo. I almost snuck up on that guy. I almost did it. Oh. Okay. Well, that's going to have to be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I've been recording for 43 minutes, so this is definitely one of those highlight style of videos. And uh, it's, it's not a bad one. I will say that. It is not a bad video. So, that's good because the last one was awful. But if you like this video... Woo, sorry, that was some water. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. My throat is all kinds of raspy right now. Uh, I've been recording for a good two, three hours right now. But um, yeah, so hit that like button. Show your appreciation. Comment down below. I do read them. I will respond to them. Hit that subscribe button to get videos from me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Maybe one day I'll go to a daily thing. But as of right now, that's where it sits. And yeah, I'm gonna say that's about it. Ring the bell if you want. You don't have to. But uh, yeah, I've been Miss Mendoza Gaming, and I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching.